Hey Gemini, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the end of January. Going into the month of February 2023, we're going to see what messages are coming out for you guys pertaining to love, romance, and partnership. If you enjoy these readings, I do ask that you like, share, comment, subscribe, um, help me out here. <laughs> um, also, Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, right? So again, you could be a Gemini, your person could be a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, okay? Placements. Gemini, if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, you know where to find me. I do offer them video recorded as well as Etsy message. Um, I do have a Valentine's Day offer as well. Seven day turnaround at a really great price. Um, bonus extended readings are up on Vimeo as per usual. And let's see, today I'm going to start off with the sacred signs and symbols, okay? I know last week I did the Ask the Universe. Um, this week I am bringing this deck back, okay? So this is one of my Oracle decks on my Etsy shop. You guys know I do make my Tarot and Oracle decks. Um, they are available. And this one included. Let's jump right in. Messages for Gemini, okay? So again, take a resonance, leave the rest. All of it may not resonate with your situation, okay? The biggest challenge for Gemini and their person, we got two cards that came out. We got Volcano Eruption, so there could have been like a tower moment recently. Maybe you guys are overcoming, recovering from a tower moment, okay? Feels like something may have happened and it feels like it was about time something came out exploded could have been a secret um it feels like it caused some damage here i'm not gonna lie volcanoes you know aren't really pretty um but i remember seeing like a, a documentary about volcanoes and a lot of times like when volcanoes as destructive as they could be right they let things uh you know this is like flames and fire hot lava it burns things burns life burns trees burns bushes but then it allows for things to be reborn so there could be a rebirth here um, after a tower moment, something here could be reborn. And that's kind of what towers are, right? Something wasn't stable and strong and firm to begin with. And so it gets knocked down, it crumbles, and then something is reborn from it. So some of you guys are experiencing that. But the dust has to settle. And if you see this volcano, the dust is still settling here. Um, we also have mop. Okay, so it feels like maybe there was a big mess here, right? <laughs> Sloppy mess, some damage done, spill, clean up. So, you know, I'm getting recovery for sure. I'm getting something here where someone made made a mess. They they done some serious damage, but now they're having to clean up that mess, recognize, acknowledge there's a need for change, and maybe like, again, cleaning up their act, okay? So I'm going to stop there. That's from the sacred signs. Let's see what messages we have. Let's start off with the recent past. Okay, give me the recent past energy for Geminis out there. Queen of Swords in reverse. There's your energy, Gemini. So some of you guys, you cut someone out. You may have stopped communicating with someone. This could look like very, very a hostile communication, not going to lie. It could be very argumentative in nature or combative. There could be something that you said um, or something that they said wasn't so pretty, wasn't so nice. It could have been met with a lot of um, nasty, sharp communication again. Um, Seven of Wands is here and the Page of Swords in the verse is here. For some of you guys, there could be a child involved, but the Page of Swords in verse makes me feel like there was some kind of, I'm getting some kind of investigation. Whether you found out something through another person, maybe there was a gossip rumor. It feels to me like there was something that your person didn't say and you found out about it anyway. And for that reason, some of you guys, you may have gotten angry. You may have uh, cut this person off, okay? Again, Take it out resonates, but I definitely feel like there was some kind of argumentative energy between you and someone in the past, Gemini. Whether you said something you didn't mean or they said something that was a little snippy or wasn't nice, okay? Seven of Wands is like you're having to protect yourself. So for some of you, you may have wanted to be alone. You may have really felt the need to defend your position, defending your rights. Um, let this person know where you stand. Seven of Wands is a very guarded energy, but it also very defensive and protective. Gemini, the current energy is the Eight of Swords in reverse. That could be you. There's the Ace of Swords, New Beginnings, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. There could be a new beginning coming in with regard to communication. I'm hearing breaking of silence with regard to someone you haven't been talking to. Knight of Swords in reverse. Again, there's been miscommunication, no communication. And someone is like, I've had it. Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone wants to break away from this overthinking. 
negative thoughts, feeling stuck in a situation, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs, whatever this is. So it feels like maybe you and your person have been in the same energy. We're eight of swords in the verse. It feels like you just guys want to be free. You want to say what you want to say. You don't want to hold your peace anymore. And yeah, I mean, honestly, the, this ace of swords could be that. It could be the finally uh, a breakthrough in communication. He has a realization that I got to say this and I have to say it now. So definitely a new opportunity in communication. A lot of transparency, being up front, being crystal clear. Could be another air sign you're dealing with, a Gemini like you, a Libra or an Aquarius. Let's take a look at your person a little bit closer. The star could be an Aquarius, page of pentacles in reverse. The sun, Leo energy in full Aries. Big major, um, major arcanas, big energy shifts, okay, coming in for your person's energy in particular. I'm seeing a lot of healing. I'm seeing recovery with the Aquarius card, the star. This is about hopes, wishes, being optimistic that something is still very much possible. Even if it feels like, you know, well, things are a hot mess right now. <laughs> a volcano and mop, uh, that, that messing energy. Now, I think this is someone that may be reluctant to reach out. Maybe they feel like their offer is too small. Page of Pentacles in a verse could be the energy of your person wanting to make an offer of stability, realizing that this is something I want. I want to give to energetically, time, whatever it may be. But maybe my offer is too small. Maybe I should wait. Now, your person's looking for a breakthrough, the sun. They're looking for an opportunity to move forward, for happiness, for harmony, right? For healing to take place between you and them so that you guys can get to that place. I think the sun also talks about their own individual healing or their own path to healing. But it could talk about, like, I want a breakthrough. I finally see a future. I see an opportunity for change. I want to move toward it. It feels like the gates are opening. In the full, it could be a new beginning coming in for you and your person. I think this new beginning is really because your person is hopeful that this is still possible. Yeah, we've gone through our own fair share of hurt and pain. Maybe there's been some kind of big tower moment that is, I'm getting the light bulb moment. The light bulb, the light has gone off in their head, right? The sun is like, finally, I see things the way it truly exists. And there's an idea that I can heal, I can recover this. The fool, here's a new beginning. It may sound a little crazy, right? The fool card is like taking a risk, putting themselves out there, saying, you know what, maybe I'll be rejected in the end, but hey, I have to at least try, right? So the fool card could be your person coming in with a new beginning. Let's take a look at the outcome. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Temperance in reverse Sagittarius energy and the death in reverse. I'm not surprised that the death came out in the reverse position for you guys. Why? Well, because death is Scorpio energy, change, transformation, rebirth, resurrection, revival. After something coming to an end, which is exactly may, what may have happened with this volcano energy, something was wiped clean, lava, you know, fire, just disaster, chaos, ruin, something is being reborn. It may take some time, right? It may take some time for something to bud, but it does feel the death in the verse is a revival or rebirth. And it feels like, again, the Queen of Pentacles in the verse because something here wasn't stable. And with the temperance, it feels like there's a lot of anxiety and stress about something that may have came to an end. So now there's a new beginning coming in. I feel like this is your person cleaning their act up. Okay? Gemini, let's jump right in. Let's tear this apart. Let's get some more clarity, more insight. If you enjoy these readings, do let me know. I appreciate love and love and support of my channel and what I do, what I do. Give me a card for the volcano. Um, energy with the mop. Sloppy mess cleaning up. The challenge is the nine of swords. The challenge is for someone to get out of their head, right? Nine of swords in verse, get out of your head. Stop overthinking, paranoia, frustration. I can't do it. Um, let it go and let go of the energy of, you know, stressing about something that may have happened with this volcano moment. The tower moment has already happened. But what you can do now is to clean this mess up. And that's what the mop is about, right? Sloppy mess, spilling, cleaning up, cleaning up from the ground up. And that's exactly what this card talks about. So you can't do anything by sitting in your head, anxiety, oh my gosh, I can't believe what I did. Don't focus on that. Get out of your head and start working on fixing things and cleaning it up, okay? So in a recent past, give me the energy of the Page of Swords, Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands came out, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles in the verse. Did someone leave you for Queen of Wands? For some of you guys, maybe there was a fire sign, Leo Sag Aries, someone who was very passionate, someone who wanted to do what they wanted to do, have fun. 
entertainment, whatever it may be, and they weren't able to connect with you on an emotional level. There also could have been gossip rumor regarding a Queen of Wands energy. It does feel like someone wasn't in a place to emotionally connect with you with the Eight of Cups. You may have felt abandoned or neglected to some degree, Gemini, because we had that Five of Pentacles. You wanted more of them. You wanted their time. You wanted their attention. You wanted their loyalty. You wanted their presence. And it feels like you weren't getting it. So a lot of you may have cut this person out as a means to protect yourself with the Seven of Wands. Page of Cups came in as well. And the Sun. It feels like it took some time for this person to see the error in their ways, right? To see how they were coming off. Now, the Page of Cups can certainly be a small offer of love and maybe it just wasn't enough for you. For others of you guys, the Page of Cups could be an apology. I'm sorry, I don't know what I was doing. And that may have opened up the door um, for healing to take place with the sun. When someone finally realizes that I can do a whole lot better. Sun, you know, could be also, you know, realizing that, you know what, I have to do better for Gemini. So take it how it resonates. The sun is transparency. It's illumination. It's clarity. It's hope. It's, it feels like it's very liberating. Now, give me the Ace of Swords. There could be some kind of truth information coming out between you and this person. The lovers, the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Four Cups. Someone recognizing I, they recognize I've missed out on this beautiful opportunity. Four Cups is a feeling of regrets you know guilt i feel bad you know this is something i cared about and with the lovers in the verse maybe they turned their back on you maybe they decided you know what this isn't for me i don't want to surrender i don't want to give in to this um there could have been some issues also regarding equal give and take six of pentacles coming out in a verse is like this is something that may have been one-sided your person just not being there for you emotionally but also uh physically we have cups and we have pentacles here I also feel like there was a lot of unknowns. The Knight of Swords in the verse could be that Gemini, there was information kept from you. And then now you're finding out the truth why this person turned their back on you, which is something they regret. Five of Cups. So you're going to be finding out. There's a lot of emotions and um, disappointment in themselves with the Four of Cups. And it's regarding a situation where they were not showing up for you. It was very one-sided and unreciprocated. Okay. Eight of Swords in the verse, letting go of the anxieties the fears okay it feels like your person may have some kind of inclination that gemini you're not willing to fight for this okay you're not you're not willing to fight for this anymore they may have an idea that you moved on seven of wands in the verse can mean that you've just kind of given up so they may have some anxiety of fears regarding you giving up on them and they may feel like it's too late okay to come in and now they're speaking truth and they don't know if you want to hear them out they don't know if you're going to be open to hearing them out right now but the star is indicating of healing. Give me the energy of the star. Healing in order to move forward. You've been waiting for your ships to come in and it feels like there's an opportunity to. The magician came out in the verse. So for some of you guys, your person could now be seeing like their their tactics, their clever tactics and skillful ways and how they tried to manipulate you. Maybe there was something here about that. And maybe they're having to leave that behind. Um, it could be also some kind of manipulation regarding other people but if something they're moving away from and moving away from that energy whatever this is this could be manipulation deception doing things for their own good they're moving away from that in effort to heal something healing things on the individual level but also within the connection and they're hopeful that maybe there's something that they can turn around now page of pentacles in reverse with the sun Wow, we got all three quick cards, okay? So we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords. You know, I almost feel like for some of you guys, this is you, okay? This is you and your person. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, male or female, doesn't matter. Switch to roles. One of them is you, other one is your person. Queen of Pentacles could be a third party. For some of you guys, whether this is a coworker, a friend, a, a family member, there's a third party here. And it feels like that's why they weren't able to make the offer, okay, offer of stability. But now the sun is that there's clarity, there's truth. Maybe there's some kind of truth coming out about their dealings with a queen of pentacles or, again, a third party. There also could be some kind of financial piece, okay, to it. I'm getting the energy of, like, your person was tied to someone financially. They felt the need to continue to give to that person for some reason. The sun is enlightenment. It's truth. And let's see what this new beginning is about. The full card, Aries energy. The devil in reverse and the four cups. Oof, wow. So there's a new beginning coming in, but it does feel like this new beginning is coming right after someone decides to let go of something that is no longer serving their highest and greatest good. The devil in reverse could be a Capricorn. Again, could be an Aries, could be a Leo. Someone is recognizing that there's something toxic, the devil in reverse. Maybe there's something that they've been holding on to for too long, far too long. Maybe it's codependent. Maybe it's something they didn't want to give up on. 
But there's a sacrifice being made with the devil in the verse. I'm letting this go. And it feels like it's because, well, I want this new beginning with Gemini. In the Five of Cups, it feels like there's a lot of emotions and guilt and sorrow for something they may have done connected to this devil energy. So now they're freeing themselves from it. And this new beginning comes in. Okay. Let's take a look. Now we have the death in the verse, the temperance. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles here. Could be some kind of opportunity, replenishing of one's finances. Uh, also, I'm getting a death in the verse. Could be rebirth, okay, resurrection of something that may came to an end. Someone is overly anxious. I'm, here, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety with that temperance in the verse. Empress. Someone wants to give to the Empress, but they're stressed. Four swords in the verse in the full card. Full new beginning. A new beginning is coming in, but rest assured that this is not going to be easy for your person, Gemini. A lot of you guys, you may be sitting in that Empress energy. You're desirable. You're attractive. Anybody wants you. Everybody wants you. You turn heads, right? You're a manifester. You're a creator, and you make things happen. Um, it does feel like the Four Swords in verse, maybe after a period of rest, some kind of long... Um, I'm getting solitude, isolation. Someone wants to have some kind of opportunity with the Empress to grow something that um, they feel is still fertile, right? They want to expand with you. They see a future with you. They see maybe even having children with you. Um, and there's a new beginning coming in, but rest assured that temperance and verse, someone is stressed out about it. Someone is very anxious and it perhaps is because, well, you know, it it's up to the Empress. For some of you guys, it's up to you if you want this new beginning, if you want to re- uh, have a rebirth or resurrection of the death card, whatever that energy is, whatever you guys are have gone through. So the full card is in the beginning, leap of faith, and it's, it comes with a risk. That's one thing you ought to know. It comes with a risk. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's on the other side. You don't know if this person has truly changed or not. Although I can assure you that death card and that tower moment of the volcano, there's been a lot of change. There's been a lot of change, okay? And it's up for you to decide if that's something you want to move forward with. Gemini, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is the Sacred Signs and Symbols deck. It is available on my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, check it out. It's one of my older decks. I have brought it back and I'm um, incorporating to all my we weekly readings, okay? Not next week, but my, my week's readings for all the Zodiac sign. That's a better way to say it. All right, you guys take care. Have a beautiful week ahead.